hello again or welcome if you're new to my channel. I am Marie, I have a two-year-old toddler boy and we do Montessori at home. And today I am very excited to share with you my DIY tutorial on how I made Montessori same paper letters. Now if you have ever looked into teaching your child to read or write, chances are you've probably come across some version of sandpaper letters. And if you have, then you also know they can get very expensive, especially if you take into consideration all the varieties like lowercase and capital and cursive and numerals and things like that. So that is where I found myself about a month ago when my two-year-old decided he was really interested in letter sounds. Now, if you're new to Montessori, basically they teach the letter sounds before they teach actual names of the letters in the alphabet. So when I looked into getting sandpaper letters for our house, I just could not justify spending that kind of money, especially since I could put it towards other activities for us but I did want something that was quality and that would hold up to a toddler. And I also wanted the vowels to be a different color, which is more traditional. And I wanted there to be the empty space where we could play sound games with objects that start with the letter we're working on. So I'm really excited with how they turned out. They were really easy to make and really fast. I got all my supplies at the hardware store and the craft store, so really simple. I'm really excited to share it with you, so we will go ahead and get started. Here's a look at the supplies I used. I will have a full list in the description box, as well as a link for where I found the template for my letters. To mount my sandpaper letters, I chose wooden boards that I asked my husband to cut down to about 4 by 6 in size, but you could also use foam boards or even cardstock that was laminated. I picked red and blue paint that I already had on hand and I decided not to paint the backside because it was nap time when I did this and I didn't want it to take forever to dry. When you're done painting, you'll want to cut out your sandpaper letters. Don't worry about getting too close though because you just want to be able to stick them to the back of the sandpaper. Then you'll want to take the front of the letter and glue it to the back of the sandpaper. This is a really important step because when you turn it over, you want the front of the letter to be the rough side. When the glue is dry, you can cut your letters out, but be sure you're using scissors that aren't good scissors because the sandpaper will dull them. If you have trouble cutting the letters, you can hold them up to a light or a window and you can see the letters really clearly when you're cutting. When your boards are dry and your letters are cut out, you'll be able to glue them down. Just be sure not to use too much excess glue because even though it dries clear, it does leave a bit of a reflective spot. So that is it really easy to make and took no time at all and we've been having so much fun with ours if you guys have any questions at all you can comment down below or send me a dm on instagram at mama in the rain thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye